Hello, Matthew Taming here. Welcome to another tutorial for S2 Page Builder 3 by Jim Shaper. Today, we're going to start using the add ons to create uh, the website. And I'm going to go through each add on to show you what you can do with it. So, if you buy your laptop, your computer, and you want to join me, please feel free to uh, let's get started. So, what I have here, this is the page that I'm creating. In order for you to edit Page Builder, you need to log into the front end of your website. And in this particular course, I'm going to spend a lot of time on the front end because they've made so many great improvements on the front end uh, that I think is worth spending time to create the add-ons there. So what I've done is I'm just creating a basic page uh, from, with page building. I click save and close. And then next, what I, what I did was I created uh, this, this home page here. Let me show you. So you go to menus, main menu. Now, once again, this works for if you have your website and you using page builder already you can integrate this right with your website but since I'm using the Clint installation here I just wanted to show you what I'm doing so what I've done is this home button here I've connected it to the page that I just created with page builder as you can see so this is one here and to do that you click where it says menu item type you click on select and then you choose page builder and then from page builder you click select and you can connect your menus with any page so I'm connecting this here. So anytime that I'm logged in to the front end of my website, I am going to be able to edit the page right then and there. So that's how you edit on the front end. Just connect whatever menus you have with a page that you created in Page Builder for you to activate it. So I've done that now and there's nothing on this page and I'm not able to see the edit here and that is because I have not logged into the front end. So let me click on login and I'm going to log in to the front end. Okay, so now I'm logged in now. Let me go back here to the home button. Now you've activated the edit page. So I'm going to click on edit. And once you click on edit, you notice that you have the add-ons here. Once again, if you have the pro version, you have 43 add-ons. If you have the free version, you have 14. So if you don't have all the add-ons like I do here, that's because you have just a free version, which I recommend you get the pro version because it has a lot more. All right, so once you're here now, before adding things on the page, you have to create uh, a new row. So I'm going to click on click on Add New Row, and you have the option to choose the layout type that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on three. All these here total the number twelve. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this module over to any one of these columns. But before doing that, since we're going to be creating uh, using the module part, you want to go over to Extensions, Modules. And as of right now, these are the only modules that have been activated on the site. Now, your site might look a lot different. You probably have a whole lot different modules with there. Uh, the principle is still the exact same. Uh, but since I have just a few modules, I just wanted you to note, uh, notate that. So let's go back to the front end. So we're going to drag where it says Joomla module, drag it over and put it right there. So now we've just dragged over that module onto that, that particular column. And if you notice on the left hand column here, it's asking us for some information. So for the admin label, so I'm going to put a login form and the admin label is just for you. It's not for anyone on the front end to know. It's just to help you to make sure uh, you know what each item is. So I'm going to call this module login form. Now when you start to type in there, you notice you activate the title element, uh, the family, the font size, the highlights, and, and things like that. So you have the option of using that or you don't have to change anything if you don't want to. So let's scroll down here. Now you have the add-on options. This is where you can choose if you want to add a specific module or if you want to add a module position. Now I'm not going to go over a lot of module positions, but Overall, with Joomla, every section of your website is a module position. So let's go back here to extensions to your module manager. You notice that you have the positions right here in this column. It lets you know a position two, three, four. Every template have different module positions. So your template positions might be something completely different from what I have here. But nonetheless, every template has module positions. So. And the front end, what this is, what is it's asking you is that, do you want to connect just a specific module? In other words, do you want to connect, let's say I want just this login form to show, or do I want to connect a module position? So if I choose module position, when I click on the drop down for it says module position on the front end, it's going to ask me to select a module position. So this module positions 
are also what's available on the back end. For example, you see module two, I'm sorry, position two, and you see position seven. On the front end, when I click on the drop down, you see position two and position seven. Once again, this is probably different if you're uh, just integrating this with your existing website. But if you're following along, then it's gonna look you know, something like this. So you have the option now is do you want to integrate just this particular module or do you want to integrate every item in the position seven module? So now I'm going to integrate just this login form here on the front end. And then if you notice here, it says title uh, margin top. You can choose and see what it looks like on different browsers. It's you're changing your devices here. It expands and it's, it's responsive. So that's really great. All right. So I'm going to click on apply. So now you see the login form. And the reason why you're saying log out is because I'm already logged in. Uh, to the website. So if I wasn't logged in, then it would have had uh, login form. So let's say I decide to change my mind and I, I just don't want to put just that login form, but I want to put the position. Let me show you how that works. So I'm going to click on module position and I'm going to choose position seven and then click on apply. So now I'm including the login form and the main menu, which is on position seven. So if you have several module position, modules in a certain position and you want to showcase all those modules from that same position, that's the way that you do it. So now let's go over to the color. It's asking you what, what color do you want the title. So I'm just going to choose a random color here, this red, and I'm click apply. So now you've changed the login form title to the color red. Now you don't necessarily need to have a title. So if I come and I delete this, and click apply, the form is still going to work just fine. And you can choose the title element as the H1 all the way to H6. So these are the tags that you have. So H1, of course, is the highest. And this play a role, as I explain later on, with search engines. The H tags play a major role with search engines. But for now, I'm just going to lift that at H3. And then what size do you want it? As you move this up and down, you notice that the size is going to change once you click on apply. So you can choose the font style you want to underline do you want italics and you can also choose the size of a thin extra light so let's just click extra light and click on apply so you're going to notice now that the font has changed tremendously because we set the title font size to 204 that's extremely large well we don't need the font that large and you can also enable backgrounds uh, you can choose a background color so i'm just going to choose a random color just to show you how that looks and you can add an image. You can upload an image in the background. So let me click here to grab an image. So when you look at it now, you notice that we have the login form here. It looks a little out of shape and it looks, you know, it doesn't look that great. But I wanted to show you that you can be able to add different things. So you see where it says the log out button here. Let's go back and activate this again. So now that we have a whole bunch of stuff in there, let's try to normalize this. So I'm going to delete that color and leave those positions. And let's go over to the style. You want to enable background, let's take the background off. And no box shadows. And click on save. So now we have the form here and it looks a lot better. It doesn't have so much going on. That concludes this part of the video. If you have any questions, any comments, please make sure to leave the comments below the video. You know, like the page, subscribe to the YouTube, contact me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever you can find me. So next time, we're going to take a look at the accordion. And the accordion is another great one, too, uh, that we can use for the site. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned.